They'll be calling you a radical. Hi, Kevin Blanche. I want to put this up. Atomic veterans, atomic veterans, atomic veterans, atomic veterans. As I've been getting sent email after email after email as AARP, the Justice Department, and all these people are trying to use this for political gain and grandstanding this issue. I want these facts to be laid out right here, right now, in the truth. I've, I've been rewriting my entire book as I had it already as I really dive into this subject matter from the blood of the contextual inception of the birth of the atomic veteran and the murder of the atomic veterans in the real story in the blood of the earth story of the wind story of the water story of what this really is i want this to be said i hope this video gets spread out everywhere and i hope some people mirror image it put it up there because i'll probably get taken down because of this thing look these assholes i want this to be clear about atomic veterans ARP's grants and the Justice Department, the Veterans Administration, RECA, all of their fucking scams. They are scams, they are scams, they are scams. I want to lay this out in the truth, in the truth about the atomic veterans. This is how this worked. This is how this worked. You had drafted United States Marines, drafted. Semper Fi as they get. They went through these platoons and these battalions and picked the most Semper Fi men they could find. My father drafted 1951 right here in Utah. His older brother, Harold Blanche, Omaha Beach, Battle of the Ball, just decorated as famous freaking World War II hero as they get. He's still alive. His younger brother, Claude Blanche, second shirt at Colorado Springs, one of the most decorated young fighter pilots in the history of this country, stationed at the Pentagon for years. My father drafted just like 40,000 of these men, got them combat ready for Korea, put them on ships, deployed to Korea, turned them around in the night, loaded them on trucks, drove them, they're Pendleton Marines, all 40,000 of them Pendleton Marines, drove them to the test site, not support crews, not clean up crews, not whatever, put in trenches like human guinea pigs right at the blast. My father, so class, radiated, blown to living smithery, killed many of them right there. Put their hands over their head, juiced, woke up in hospitals in San Diego, many of them, fed LSD after to try to alter their memories. They were a Semper Fi, blown to hell. My Uncle Claude says it best. When your father came home, he was one incredible athlete. And we're talking Claude Blanche, one of the greatest athletes in the history of this state, says this. Probably could be the greatest athlete in the history of this state. He says this verbatim. Your father was a better athlete than me. He came home, he dropped him off in the little house. He walked down that lane, I knew. I watched him walk down, I knew something was wrong. He couldn't run anymore. He couldn't do anything more. I talked to him. He wouldn't tell. He was Semper Fi. They died of leukemia. They died of leukemia. Okay? We're talking a man without a cavity. A man who looked like Elvis Presley with muscles. Incredible man. Incredible, incredible. I watched him load him in the body bag. All 40,000 died of leukemia. All 40,000. Every last single one of them. Not one single atomic veteran got a medal, not a penny, and the compensation grandstand is bullshit. And the way they talk to me on the phone, I filed paperwork from the 90s on. My uncle, through congressmen, through senators, Jim Matheson's helped me himself. Not only did they not give us anything, not a thank you, not a, we're sorry, Mr. Blanche. But they spit in my widow mother's face. Not only that, send in your pictures. We had all kinds of pictures. They stole the pictures. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So now they're blinking all over, all over the internet. Oh, we're compensating. Not one single drill of the 40,000, not one single one of them got a penny, not a dime. So what's happened? What's happened? What is this all about? Same thing all government programs have been about in this country. Same thing. And then you wonder why, and I'm no teabagger, I'm a progressive. And it's like we divide up on one line, like we need more food inspection, we need more EPA. But other systems, you can see where they come from, they just scam them. They scam them. 
This is what this is all about. Oh, my freaking grandpa was out there. He was the support who cleaned up when he was never even there. You got somebody on the inside. They filed a paper. Here's a check for 100000 Has they drew a line at the Jew up County line right here. Has they killed so many. And the doctors will tell you, and this is another government scam. Here's what happens. Oh, the files don't exist. Here's their excuse. The St. Louis fire. How convenient. All these men, well, my father died. He had a safe this deep, and he was a brilliant, brilliant, incredible. He died in the prime of his life, sawed down. Watch him with his mind on fire. He had a wit like Mark Twain. He had an art like Picasso. He had a freaking brain that was so incredible, like Einstein. He was mowed down. He had a stack, a safe full of everything ever written about it. So heavily documented his experiences, journaled, whatever, all the way down. You know, he told me he was a dying. He says, Kevin, they put this in the trenches. I put my hands over my hand, face like this, and when it flashed, he says, I could see the bones from my skin. They fed us iodine, they fed us LSD. They swore us to secrecy. And this guy was a semper on his deathbed, he infused morphine. That's the kind of guy he was. This government program has been scanned. I just got off the phone. The Justice Department, RICA, the Veterans Administration are scum, scum. What they need to put on their site, flash it. I told you, you need to put this on your flash site. Any real atomic veteran, any real atomic veteran that was been in the trenches, real atomic, go fuck yourself and bleep it. Go fuck, your family go fuck yourself. Their widows go fuck. And as they'll tell you, this is another government scam. Is all these doctors and these government studies Tell us, they tell us this. Leukemia cannot pass through the gene pool. It cannot, it cannot be hereditary. Oh, really? Now I fight for my life full of leukemia, down right to the edge. How do they know? How do they know? Because they covered up. These tests cannot be done. These studies cannot be done because they buried them. That's why they buried them. As my uncle, who was at the Pentagon, the, the, one of the youngest colonels in the history of this country, a brilliant man, says, Kevin, even I run into black doors. This is a human guinea pig experiment that the government has played on your father to his death and his children. That's coming from a guy at the Pentagon who told me that. That's who these people are. The Justice Department, and I hope this, we need plenty of views on this video. We need lots of views on this video. So when people type in atomic veterans, they know the truth. My book I've been rewriting, as you know, I had it ready for the publisher, and I dive into this big time, heavily in a lot of subject matter about the Fed, a lot of different things. I've been writing it, you know, and I've been, I was reading through it yesterday. That is, is one intense, intense book. Wow. I mean intense, like I am intense. This is a passionate subject to me. You know, fuck your money. The United States, you fuck your paper piece. This is a fucking shit fucking money. The United States, they made, these were drafted guys. These weren't volunteers. These ain't guys driving around with a fucking purple heart on their fucking license plate. These are dead fucking Marines. They left widows and left fucking kids that you fucking people did nothing for. Not even, I'm sorry, Mr. Blanche. Thank you for your father's sacrifice, Mr. Blanche. Not nothing. Not nothing. Not in Utah. I love it here in Utah. You don't have to pay property tax if you're a disabled veteran or you're wounded. My father killed. Did my mother pay? No. Did they ever get that? No. Nothing. Zero. Not a penny. Not a medal. Not a dime. So when you guys see that and you see blinking ARP, they've, we've appropriated all kinds of money for these people. We're taking care of it. Number one, what the fuck is money going to do? I don't want your fucking money. Don't give me back your money. I don't want it any fucking more. That is who the atomic veterans are. That's who they are. And they left children like me. Children like me. And you think it's a coincidence that now I'm full of leukemia fighting for my life just like he was? Oh no, it can't pass through your gene, but how the fuck do they know when these people were at ground zero? you know what kind of exposure? You know how his chromosome had to be let up as I was conceived after? You know how much plutonium, season 134, season 1 had to be in his sperm? What that did? <laughs> The United States government is a pure fucking evil. The United States military is a pure fucking evil. This is the country. Wrap yourself up in the fucking flag. This is the greatest, bestest country in the world. Oh, fuck. Really? 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 As you got cancer, I mean, you are so branded, you're so indoctrinated, you divide up on fucking sides. When fuck, we need more food inspection, we need more EPA, we need to clean up by the fuck, but no, we're on one side or the other. Because it is not black or white, everything is fucking always fucking gray, but you, no one could get that through their heads.
Fuck these fuckers. That's who the real atomic fucking veterans are. Let me show you who a real atomic fucking veteran is. A real one. An honest to God, Semper Fi, true blue one. That's who they are. That's who they are. That's who they are. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Those are the real guys. Fuck you and your fucking money. Take your fucking websites fucking down. And I hope everybody posts this. When people type in atomic veterans, they know the truth. That the real 40,000 of them that were nuked to death in the trenches didn't get nothing and they will never get nothing. Oh, the records burning us said these people didn't exist. We erased them from history. We erased them from humanity. You forgot one thing. Some of their children know. And some of their children are writers. And some of their children are YouTube vloggers. You did not rewrite history. You thought you rewrote fucking history and erased that from Americana. Oh no. Oh no. Not when guys like me are still alive because I will live to tell the tale. Kevin Blanche.